Okay. Okay, great. It's uh, April 5th, 2016, and I've just come from a happening at, at Clover, Harvard Square 2, at 1326 Massachusetts Avenue, and I ran into a fellow humanist, Greg. Hi there. Tell us about, tell us about you and what you do and what well, how we connected and so forth. Sure. Uh, thanks very much, Charles. It's good to meet you. Um, I was just hanging out waiting for my mushroom sandwich at Clover. I wanted to be there for the first day uh, that they were opening up. And uh, I'm a big fan of theirs. And, and I noticed that you were making a video outside. Figured you might be an interesting guy. Uh, so we started talking for a second. And, and you said that you were a first round Clover investor. And I, I, I like... Uh, interesting people and who interest, invest in interesting companies. So I, I just figured I'd, I'd collect you into my community here. Uh, my name is Greg Epstein. I'm the humanist chaplain at Harvard University uh, and the executive director of this center, the Humanist Hub. Uh, right now we're in the main meeting room of the Humanist Hub where uh, this community of humanists, atheists, agnostics, and the non-religious uh, and allies and many religious allies from different backgrounds gathers yeah. uh, on pretty much a daily basis. So. Um, the Humanist Hub, uh, as you'll see here, we have this motto, Connect, Act, Evolve. Yeah. So that will give you a sense of what we do. Uh, we help people in the categories that I just mentioned to connect with one another, to form a community. Uh, we do many programs that involve action, social action to make the world a better place. And then the Evolve is, uh, on the one hand, it's a cheeky joke about science. We, we're big fans of evolution here. Uh, but on the other hand, it's also a sincere call to uh, evolve into a better person, to be a better human being and live a better life and to help society evolve into a, a more healthy society. So that's, that's our motto. And this room that you're standing in here will be filled with uh, humanists and, and friends uh, every Sunday afternoon. Uh, as well as almost every evening throughout the week. Wow. So do people just stop by? Uh, no, no, we have programs and they come and attend programs and we're, we're building a really strong community. So this, this uh, sign that you're looking at right here, what I'll say is that we're a community of uh, the non-religious, but uh, what you won't find anywhere throughout the space is anything about what we disbelieve in. We're, we're not big on criticizing others as a fundamental part of okay. who we are. We prefer to focus on who we are and what we stand for. So this is a list of some of the positive values and principles that we stand for here at The Hub. Reason, compassion, creativity, justice, integrity, awareness, skepticism, dialogue, et cetera, et cetera. Give me all of them. I guess oh, so. well, you know, I mean, this, this is an incomplete list, but, but uh, awareness, environmentalism, feminism, equality, science, authenticity, pluralism, skepticism, dialogue, diversity, progress, equity, service, mindfulness, personal growth, love, and intersectionality, among others. What, what means intersectionality? Intersectionality um, is a term that comes from a theory about uh, race and racial justice, as well as feminism and other causes. It's the idea that um, people are, who are fighting to make society better in different ways. Uh, have common cause with one another. So that if somebody is is fighting against, say, uh, sexism, that person might also uh, have something really strongly in common with somebody fighting against racism, fighting against anti-Semitism, uh, et cetera, et cetera, that, that, that we, we all need to help one another understand one another's causes and work together. Um, so that's that's a sense of, of, of this room. I mean, I could take you to a couple other rooms in the back and, I, I, and show I, you. I think this this one room is, is what, what we I think I think that gives you that gives you a, a good idea. We've also got a children's program back there uh, with a really wonderful, fun-looking classroom uh, that you can see some other time. We've got videos online about it as well. Uh, but anyway, so that that's well, look, Greg. The thing that that I find coincidentally happening mm -hmm. with some kind of synchronicity yeah. uh, is that the organization that I've founded, mm -hmm. the Whole Brain Foundation, yeah. uh, is based on the idea that we want to, as you do, focus on humanity, mm -hmm. on creativity, mm -hmm. uh, and, and also science and technology, mm -hmm. and that, that the world is ready for a new metaphor, a new conceptual framework mm -hmm. that integrates 
in a functional way an understanding of the behavior of the whole body, mm -hmm. the whole mind, and the whole brain. Mm -hmm. As complicated as that, just simplifying it and looking at observable, measurable human behavior, mm -hmm. men, and just and being against the mind as a four-letter word, for example. Okay. Uh, leaves out, and so we're pretty broad. We're here for a short time on this planet. Well, and uh, we, I think that we have plenty of things to talk about. And I that sounds great. I was thrilled to have met you. Rest assured, Charles, that I will research your organization and get back to you about it. I, I will even have an intern look at look at it. Uh, well, closely. I have to warn you that our website was put up in 24 hours. Okay. But we have. I'm kind of circle. Uh -huh. I want home and away games. Uh -huh. The whole Brain Foundation's home world headquarters is out at, near Formaggio's in the Buckingham Brown and Nichols School. Okay. And come see us, and we'll okay. come see you. All right. But I think this is just great. Great. Well, I, and, I, I and look have to more be, sometime. Bring us together yeah. on this startup day. Yeah. Uh, seven years. Seven years later. Seven years later. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, these are. Great ideas, and, and they're just happening. Well, Clover brings people together. You know, my, my wife and I had a Clover truck for our rehearsal dinner at our wedding. You're so, kidding. Oh, yeah, no, we're, we're big fans, so. And my wife and I, mm -hmm. when I decided that it would be a good idea to invest in Clover, mm -hmm. uh, in 19, in, in 2009, mm -hmm. which would have been uh, seven years ago, yeah. would have been, uh, uh, on our 48th wedding anniversary day, nice. I had it catered hmm. by the Clover Food. Yeah, there you go. And that's how we decided to make the, by the catering of the. So that similarity sounds great. Kind of, kind of an off the wall idea, but it's working out great. All right. Well, you run. I, I can't. I can't hold you up from depositing your check. And, uh, and you've got. You're with the I've, Berkman Center. I've got to go with go over to the Berkman Center for a meeting. Yes. All right. All right. Well, good to meet you again, Charles. Very Thank good. you, Rosario. Not at all. Thank you. All right.